Now, you say you're an accidental journalist. What, what does that mean? Well, just after the revolution in Iran, you know, we didn't have any money and we didn't know how to, you know, what to do. In any event, my parents were stuck there. We were in England. And my sister decided to sign herself up to a journalist college in London. Well, sadly, after a couple of months, she decided this was not for her. So I went back and I said, can I have our money back, please? Because we just cannot afford to, you know, throw it away. And they said, no. So I said, well, can I take the course instead? And that's what I did, and that's how I became a journalist. <laughs> wow. And when... And you got hooked. I got hooked. You got totally hooked. I got totally hooked. And then I came to here, the great, you know, United States of America, and uh, joined CNN and sort of, you know, scrambled my way up. Are you, like, reporting all the time? Do you, are you always in that mode? Yeah. Like, I'm looking for the story, always. what's going on always. here? Always, even right now. Really? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, yeah. Right this second? Always. Like, today? Always. In fact, today, you know, I found some incredible scoops right here in the United States. I really? Did, yeah. Crisis? Uh, a bit of a crisis. You could call it that. All right. Well, I'd could. love to. I'd love to see it. Well, I brought some. I brought some tape. I brought some reports. Uh, Jim. <laughs> Dawn has broken, and in a constant stream they come here to the eleventh floor kitchenette. The beleaguered late show production staff escape from their toil, however briefly, to rifle through these drawers and cabinets in a desperate search for carbohydrates. And sadly, for those hoping for cinnamon toast crunch, it is already too late. What does remain is this fruit cup. An apparently healthy snack, but in reality, processed peach cubes drowning in heavy syrup, dooming these lost souls to return here hour after hour, trapped in a heartbreaking cycle of sugar crash and sugar craving, from which they will never break free. Anderson? As you can see, the Late Show graphics department is a veritable wasteland of unwashed hair and snack refuse. The stale odor of Cheetos, Red Bull, and sadness fill the air. Sleep deprived, they dutifully carry out their superiors' orders, graphically adding Donald Trump's hair to any animal you can think of. <laughs> Never thinking to ask the question, why, Wolf? Okay, Christiane Amanpour, uh, what's her deal? She's impressive, right? She's like got like nine Emmys or something? I think it's nine. I've interviewed her twice before, but I can never remember. Is she from England? Is she from Iran? What's her deal? Born in London and raised in Tehran, Amanpour started at the foreign desk at CNN in 1983. And she covered the revolution in Romania in 89, the first Gulf War, and the war in Bosnia. You're gonna have to go right now. Anderson? So, uh, who's next? Uh, Olivia Wilde. Okay. I have 11 Emmys. <laughs> Beautiful work. Thank you. Beautiful you. work. Thank it's you. tragic situation. It's Hopefully tragic. something can be done. Yeah. yeah, listen, it was hard. Yeah, it looked like it. But I was glad to bring that news to the world. Stay safe out there. I will. Christian, thank you so much. Thank you. Amanpour airs weekdays on CNN International. It's available on CNN Go. Christian Amanpour, everybody. We'll be right back.